Welcome everyone to Hello, in Serato Studio. Today's episode, we talk about how do I automate with third party plugins. What up, Gons here with another video. This time, we are trying to figure out how do you automate your third party VSTs. So, this question was asked because they can automate the built in effects here in Serato on this drop down menu and automate them and things of that sort. But when it comes to third party, some people are having issues as far as how do I control a certain uh, part of that VST. So for example, I'm using the Valhalla Supermassive, which is free. Just go to their website and check it out. So say you want to have reverb come in slowly. Typically in, in the studio, you can tell it, hey, I want this built-in reverb. Let me give you an example here. So I'll do it to a drum track here. I'll solo it. So say we have this drum reverb here. No reverb, 100% reverb. Go to the robot, click on the knob. See how the reverb comes in like that? However, when it comes to third party ones, it doesn't quite work in the same fashion just yet. So what you have to do is go back to where I have that Valhalla. When you go to the robot, see how all of, it, all of this shows up? So typically none of this will be here but third party will show all these extra information as far as your third party plugins. So what I wanted to do was on my intro of this, I wanted the reverb to start coming in slowly right here about on the fifth bar and just increasingly get more and more. So what I did was to know exactly what was going on, I just tried to match what it says here, mix, to this. So then you'll see it move up and down when I hit the play button. See it, see it moving right there? So now, which this is really helpful when you're trying to amplify an effect later on in the sequence, not just have reverb 100% all the way through. This kind of builds up a little bit more character to whatever sound you're doing. So I'm going to kind of give you an example of this. So we're going to start from having no reverb here to starting to increase the reverb. And at eight bars, it's 100%, which then I um, go to a one bar where it fades away. Then I go into my main section. That's it. It's increasing. But see where we ran into a problem? Like right when it played, it just cut off immediately. Like not like a post fade effect or anything. So what I have to do is this new bar that I made, this little one bar, I'm going to start at 100% of that effect and work its way down. So now when we do it, the whole reverb is going to be applied all the way through the first bar of this section into the main portion. Whoops. Go here. So see how that reverb still went all the way through the bar up until here as opposed to immediately cutting off to there. So that's where you can implement what I talked about before with ghost scenes, where you can do a ghost scene, add a little bit more of that effect, let the effect decay where it's naturally, and then you can go into your main portion. So that is how you can automate 
with your third-party plugins. Have a great one. Peace. And don't forget to download your free trial of Serato Studio by going to serato.com slash studio and free download. Give it a shot. You won't regret it.